Hello and welcome to this informational session about the Stryker Institute for Leadership Development at the University of Northern Colorado. My name is Morgan Diaz and I use she, her, hers pronouns and I serve as a leadership coordinator for the Stryker Institute. We will share an overview of the program as well as a detailed step-by-step -step guide to this application throughout this session. Hello everyone, my name is Rachel Sprague and my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the Graduate Assistant for the Stryker Institute for Leadership Development. We just wanted to start by providing a brief background of Stryker history. The Stryker Institute is made possible by our generous donor, Rhonda Stryker. So Rhonda is an alumna of UNC who holds a BA in Special Education and Sociology and has dedicated her life to giving back to philanthropic efforts, specifically empowering others to make a difference. The Stryker Institute was created in 2001, and we are coming up on our 20th anniversary, which is super exciting. So Rhonda was born into her family's legacy and believes that it is important to use money for good. The Stryker Medical Corporation provides medical equipment across the globe. Many current and alum of the program sh share stories of how Stryker has created a community for them, even in their times of need, as they themselves or loved ones are utilizing Stryker medical equipment they again feel the closeness and support that they experienced while in the program. So here are mission and vision statements. And as you read through these statements, I want you to consider what words or phrases resonate with you. These statements guide our program and make us who we are today. With the recent creation of the Division of Student Affairs here at UNC, the Stryker leadership team had the opportunity to review our current mission and value statements and even create a vision statement for the first time. After engaging in dialogue with our current participants, alum of the program, and stakeholders who have served in various capacities, we have gained a renewed sense of identity. So with excitement, we now showcase our new statements at, on our website and recruitment materials, as well as integrate it into our current curriculum. And so you'll see that um, throughout this video, we will continue speaking about um, our mission and vision for the program. So if you ask participants uh, their favorite part about Stryker, you will gain a wide array of answers. And just naming a few, some Stryker participants enjoy being able to participate in social justice and identity focused workshops, as well as proceeding within the Stryker experience and focusing on leadership development, mentoring, as well as a final capstone and professional development experience upon transitioning out of the Stryker experience. Some Stryker scholars may also highlight the ability to graduate with distinct distinction and receiving a Stryker stole upon graduating, and other Stryker participants may highlight their favorite part of their Stryker experience and being able to join connection and community with a group of students who identify as women or trans women who also hold under other underrepresented identities. Stryker is a participation-based scholarship, and all Stryker re recipients are required to attend workshops, banquets, as well as any additional mandatory Stryker events that we may have throughout the year. And so the first year experience in Stryker comprises of a year-long opportunity of engaging in community building, as well as identity development. So this year focuses on social justice and the foundation for continuing their engagement in learning for a maximum of four years. Participants who fulfill all four years within the program will explore identity and leadership through experiences focused on leadership, mentorship, and professional development, which includes our capstone presentation. Social justice is a large part of our curriculum in establishing a foundation of learning about identities, ourselves, and others. Workshop snapshots. So here are a few snapshots of what workshops may typically look like. Um, you can see in the photos pictured on the left and upper center, scholars are engaging in presentations and large group activities in Otter Scott Wilcoxon building located on campus pre-COVID. The lower centered picture highlights a team builder activity between mentors and mentees during their third year experience focused on mentorship. And then the far right picture includes a scholar um, recipient just networking during our annual retreat. 
So as mentioned um, previously, striker workshops, activities, and events are typically held through varying degrees in person. With the unprecedented appearance of COVID-19, Stryker has since moved to a completely remote and virtual learning experience. So in the following slide, we will show you and discuss what this experience has looked like during this time during the pandemic. All right, so moving on to virtual workshop snapshots. So just here are a few snapshots of what workshop has looked like during um, learning in this remote setting. You can see in these pictures, we are greeted by the current and graduating Stryker scholars via webcam. So thankfully, we have had access to both utilizing Teams and Zoom in order to provide Stryker participants with a fully virtual experience for this 2020 and 2021 academic school year. So a couple of these pictures um, display our annual Stryker retreat in which we meet incoming first year Stryker recipients. We also play virtual icebreaker activities as well as discuss expectations surrounding being in a virtual format for this academic year. You may also see two individual who, individuals who are wearing striker stoles. So we were able to celebrate, um, again, 11 of our striker graduates for this fall semester who are graduating and being able to recognize them in this virtual format, as well as there are additional photos from our cohort four members highlighting their capstone presentation that they were able to present in this for, virtual format as well. So again, just re feeling really fortunate that we were still able to meet with our Stryker scholars for this year um, and just really excited that we were able to engage in this learning opportunity again. So as the semester and um, the years come to closes, um, or come to a close um, on both semesters, we, we honor our graduates um, as they continue forward, making positive change in their community and so in addition, we always look forward to celebrating these, these accomplishments of the entire program for the work and investments each of the scholars put into their growth as social justice educators and advocates. And so this year, uh, we were able to celebrate our 31 graduating scholars in spring 2020. So you can see these are the, these are the selfies that our scholars sent in to showcase them as we honored them throughout the, throughout the banquet. And then this fall 2020, we were able to celebrate our 11 graduates. Um, and so you can see them proudly wearing their golden Striker Scholar stoles um, as they walked across the, the virtual stage um, in honor of their accomplishments. And so what's amazing about our Striker community is that the graduation rate of our, of our Striker participants is 94% which is nearly three times the national average. And so we wanted to um, showcase our 2020-2021 um, our Stryker recipients in, um, in all of the four cohorts that we have in, um, in them sending in their selfies at retreat. Alrighty, so now the question being, are you interested and if so, so these are the eligibility requirements for the Stryker Institute for Leadership Development Scholarship. Uh, so students must identify as a woman or trans woman and hold at least one additional underrepresented identity listed but not limited to race, sexuality, nationality, class, first generation, parenting status, age, ability, and veteran status. In addition, scholars must be a full-time student at UNC bringing it, it to, or bringing it to at least 24 completed credit hours. Therefore, you can enter the program after your first year at UNC or as a transfer student, again, needing to have fulfilled those 24 completed credit hours. To earn this scholarship and maintain eligibility, participants are required to attend all workshops and complete supplemental assignments. Striker participants must maintain these eligibility requirements, for example, maintaining a 2.5 GPA or higher to continue participating within Striker. So in going into a little bit more depth about the undergraduate scholarship, so Stryker applicants who are awarded the Stryker scholarship typically receive an annual scholarship of $7,500. Again, in order to receive and participate in this scholarship opportunity, recipients must be a full-time student with a minimum of 24 completed credit hours. In discussing the four-year Stryker experience, the scholarship is renewable for up to four years, and again, participants must maintain the eligibility criteria throughout these four years. 
In addition, and needing to obtain the 24 completed credit hours, applicants, again, must additionally meet the minimum requirements of a 2.5 GPA or higher from the University of Northern Colorado or another college or university. If a scholar applicant is approved and receives the invitation to participate in the opportunity, they will then be required to commit uh, to participate fully in the program, attend all workshops, as well as complete the required projects of the program. Once committing, the recipient will additionally receive an Apple iPad technology package to aid in educational support. We will now discuss how you go about applying for this scholarship opportunity. So the first step of applying to the Stryker Institute for Leadership Development Scholarship includes filling out the general UNC scholarship application that you can find on URSA um, under the financial tab and UNC scholarship application, also known as academic works. So upon completing the general UNC application form, prospective applicants may now see this opportunity as a recommendation and can also search by keyword Stryker. And so the Stryker application opens on November 1st, so it is currently open and closes on June 1st next summer. And so what's, once the application is submitted, the applicants will undergo a selection process and are notified of their acceptance status before the next academic year. So I wanted to give a couple notes as you are applying. Um, we have an external selection committee, so the Stryker leadership team prepares all of the applications and the supplemental documents and sends it to an external selection committee where they make those reviews and um, make their final selections for offers for the scholarship. And so um, we do encourage you, um, if you are not selected, to continue applying um, the following year. We have so many scholarships to, to offer um, and we want to serve as many students as we can um, to be successful here at UNC. So we encourage you always um, to continue remaining involved and um, applying the following year if you are not selected. If you would like to receive more information, please do not hesitate to reach out to us either directly by utilizing the information on the screen. Um, we provided our address, our phone number, as well as our website and email address. And so that will go to all of our staff, um, or I will say we are remote currently due to the COVID pandemic surges in um, Colorado. And so reach out to us, um, here are our names, email addresses and phone numbers for a direct line. So if you are needing to know anything about office availability or any updates about the scholarship or the, um, or the program structure for the following academic year, please let us know. We're here, here for you um, and are so excited to speak with you um, in the future. Have a great rest of your day.